As the human population in Idaho grows, so too does the popularity of all-terrain type vehicles. From the four-seater side-by-side to the basic four-wheeler, almost everywhere you look you see them. Jesse Grun of Canyon Honda says Idaho is a good place to recreate on the all-terrain vehicles. There's a number of different uses here in Idaho for them. Of course, there's a big agricultural and commercial market, you know, the irrigating, the, the ranchers using them out in the range, things like that. So we, we get a lot, of, uh, a lot of demographic from that, but then also a huge recreational marketplace. There's more miles of trails than there is highway in Idaho. And everybody's big into to getting out and exploring Idaho and hunting and that, that kind of thing. And so they're just very popular for all those reasons. Tanya Thrift, field manager for the BLM in Idaho, says ATV trail riding on public land has increased in the last 10 years. I think there's more use of the existing roads and trails that we have, um, especially probably over the last 10 years. Um, you know, most of the folks do a really good job. They stay on the trails and you know, responsible about closing gates and, you know, respecting the fact that we've got multiple use, uses going out there, especially livestock grazing. If you're new to the sport, Michael Williamson, BLM public affairs specialist, suggests... And one thing we like to do is point people there's to some of the several organizations that are uh, in the valley of ATV riders, just private clubs. Those people are very knowledgeable about where to go, very knowledgeable about the rules. Thrift also suggests a visit to local BLM and Forest Service offices before you go. You know, know before you go, it's always a good idea to stop in at the local office and, um, you know, get any maps or any other information that's available beforehand um, so that way you don't, um, you know, kind of know what, you're get, what you may be getting into before you leave and also get maybe some good tips on how to get to some really cool areas that you might not have known about otherwise. Like Black Lake and the Seven Devils of the Payette National Forest. For the Voice of Idaho Agriculture, I'm Steve Ritter.